Hello guys, and welcome on back to She's Diabetic. For those of you who are new here, welcome. My name is Andrea. I have been a type one diabetic for over 19 years, and this is just a channel all about my life with type one diabetes. Some tips, tricks, hacks, body positivity, product reviews, a little bit of everything. But most of all, it's just been a way of me expressing my personal journey with type one diabetes, and if that helps people, great. If it helps people feel less alone, even better. So thank you so much for joining and I'm very happy to have you here. I have personally been on an insulin pump for about three years now, which is kind of hard to believe. And I do a lot of videos and vlogs and stuff about my interaction with the insulin pump, which I will link down below and up above, especially if you want to see some videos about where I store my insulin pump with different outfits, check out the link above. But for today's video, and a lot of questions I get asked are where do you put your infusion set? As we all know, it's very important to rotate your sites, not always use the same site for your infusion set because, you know, scar tissue can build up, absorption rates can decline as a result. It's just very good to give your body that rotation so the old site can heal while you're using a new site and, you know, all works better that way. So in today's video, I am covering three of my absolute go-to favorite infusion set sites and I will be talking about them, you know, on one side of the body, but equally they can mirror on the other side of the body, which is great for rotation, and also rotating within those areas. I also encourage people in the comments section below to share your go-to infusion set sites so that we can all get a conversation going to discuss, hey, where should we be putting this thing to make sure we're rotating and utilizing the whole body and not just one of our favorite sites. Because I've been there, I've done that. <laughs> so here we go, and without further ado, three of my favorite infusion set sites and reasons why I love them coming at you right now. So first up, one of my go-to infusion set sites is the back of the arm. And as you can see, I just have it basically on the back there so that it's not on the inside or the outside. And mainly I place it there because that way when I'm laying on my side in bed, I'm not laying directly on it. Not that that's a problem or would be uncomfortable, but also sometimes it would be uncomfortable. We all know those sites where you just kind of insert it in the wrong way or maybe it hits a nerve and it's just a little bit uncomfortable. This one that I have currently, I can touch it, I can press on it not a problem. I keep it on the back of the arm for that reason and I really like this site. I really like it for a couple reasons. First of all, I only started using this site probably about a year ago, if that, and I really came to use this site because I was using my my legs a lot and I was like, I just feel like I'm overusing my thighs and it's not like I'm not rotating my sights enough. So I thought, well, I'm gonna try an arm sight and hope for the best. And the best did happen. I was very pleased with this sight. Now, in terms of absorption, I wouldn't rate it as highly as a leg sight for me personally. I do a lot, a lot, a lot of walking and quite a bit of exercise utilizing my legs. So for that reason, the absorption is pretty primo on the legs and not as primo on the arms because you're just kind of not utilizing them that much. I'm not really pumping, pumping iron on the reg. Uh, so you know what I mean, like it's not as utilized and as much, I guess you could say. So I do notice that when it's on the back of the arm, but it's not that different in terms of absorption. And to be honest with you, the ability to switch out and not overuse other sites and have this as another option has just been a game changer for me. I also like that it's not in an area where I'm likely to pull it out. Now, that might sound counterintuitive because it's the arm and I, yes, I have a short sleeve shirt on right now so you can see it. 
But for me, when, when I'm around, like when I've got my sights around the midsection or even on the legs, if I'm changing my trousers, if I'm going to the bathroom, I'm more likely to kind of catch it and pull it off. Whereas I have never once pulled off an arm infusion set. So I don't know, it might not be the same experience for you, but for me, it's been very effective in terms of avoiding that pulling off. Something that may be a con for you and something to consider is that when you are wearing sleeveless or short sleeve shirts, you can see it. And that might bother some people. For me, it's not a problem, but hello, I have a YouTube channel about type 1 diabetes, so clearly it's out there. I mean, you know, I'm not hiding anything. But also, totally within your right to want to hide it. And say if I was going to a fancy event, would I choose to put it here? Maybe not. So that's something to consider. It's a little bit more out there and in view and you might get questions and all that jazz. But yeah, for me, I really like it. I feel like it gives me and opens up a whole other part of my body that I can utilize to rotate my sights with. And I've just really, really enjoyed kind of discovering and using this sight. So next up, and for this one, I'm going to utilize a photo here because I feel like anything else might get a bit weird. That is a leg site. And I am inserting this photo here from over on my Instagram, which I will link below if you wanna go follow me. But interestingly enough, I posted it on my Instagram a couple weeks ago and a lot of people said, whoa, like a leg site, I never thought about that. Don't you rip it out? Like they just kind of couldn't, couldn't, couldn't believe or, or hadn't tried that before. Uh, which I found very interesting because for me, a leg site is one of my absolute go-tos. It's my favorite. As I mentioned, it's actually one that I was utilizing so much I really needed to find some other real estate on my body to occupy because I felt like I was kind of overusing the legs. So for me, this is my number one. This is my go-to. It's my go-to for a lot of reasons. First of all, because it's on the leg and I oftentimes clip my insulin pump to the waistband of my trousers or pajama bottoms or whatever, it keeps everything down in that kind of sector. <laughs> Whereas you might be, if you had it on the arm, for example, when I have it on the arm, I'm running the tubing all the way down. And so there's, there's more kind of going on up here. Whereas when it's clipped, on the leg and the pump is clipped on the waistband as you can see in this photo it just kind of keeps everything down there and it obviously normally you're wearing trousers so that would be covered i also find it number one primo for me when it comes to absorption rates i think don't quote me on this but i think the muscles in our legs are some of the largest in the body so there's a lot of blood flow and muscle utilization going on there which just encourages the kind of flow of insulin once you're inserting it in that area, which I find only has great effect on my absorption and getting insulin on board for meals and that type of thing. Especially useful like if I do a pre-bolus, if I'm really on the higher side and I go for a walk, I find this is the site that is going to bring it down the quickest for obvious reasons walking, utilizing your legs, all of that good stuff. And in terms of where I'm putting it on the leg, the placement of this is quite specific for me. I try to find areas of my leg where I am not extremely muscular, so I have a little bit more of like a soft bit <laughs> to kind of go into because I find when I go into muscle that can be not the hottest and not feel very good and yeah, sometimes bleed and all of that good stuff. So for me, I tend to go on the front and the inside. That's where I find I have the most kind of soft tissue area to be able to go into. But it's different for everybody. So every single body is different. And isn't that amazing? So, you know, you find what's best for you. And just a practical one, since I've been there and done that and made the mistakes, I can tell you I've tried the back of the leg and though it seemed like a good idea at the time, then I went and took like a eight hour plane journey with this on the back of my leg. And it was not nice, not comfortable um, because I was kind of 
constantly sitting on it and putting pressure on it. And I don't love to put my infusion set on any areas where there's going to be a high frequency of putting pressure onto it. So that's why I've tended to veer more towards the inside. And for ladies, like if you cross your legs a lot, that might be a consideration of doing it in a way that is not going to be pressurized when you're crossing your legs, that sort of thing. So just an important one to note there. But yeah, my absolute favorite leg site. And last up, but certainly by no means least, my third and final infusion set placement is the lower back or top of the butt, hip kind of love handle area, I guess you could say. I'll throw in some cutaways now so you can see because it's probably quite far back, but you can see how it's there, sort of above where the waistband of my jeans would sit. Um, but still sort of in that area where you have a little something something. So this is an absolute go-to of mine. It's the most, most, most convenient for sort of clipping and unclipping. It's just like pop, clip it off, clip it back in, super duper duper easy. But this has actually migrated from a previous favorite site that just after a while wasn't really working for me and that was the top of the bum. So I really liked using the top of the bum, but that falls right sort of below the waistband of your jeans or trousers or whatever. And I found that more often than not, when I was changing clothes, I was ripping out that infusion set. So I sort of put two and two together and thought, okay, I need to remove that waistband, hitting it constantly when I'm changing clothes or whatever. So I then tried moving above where the waistband would be of my pants or whatever, and that has worked a treat. The absorption rate here is quite nice. I would say it's not as good as the legs, but the legs is just gonna be the winner every time because you use your legs to walk and all sorts. But the absorption right here is pretty darn great. The only thing I will say that is a con about this is, and I will show you here, you see, if you've got the infusion set here and then your pump in your front pocket or on the waistband or whatever, you are going to have quite a lot of tubing that is more of a hazard to catch on doorknobs and all sorts. Even sometimes I've caught my, my arm like through it. Uh, so you have to be more mindful, at least I do, to tuck the tubing in in a way and make sure your shirt kind of covers that so you're not so, so, so exposing the tubing because it's all in that general vicinity where it's not really naturally tucked by clothing that you're wearing. Now you can, for women, you can sort of bring it up the side of your bra and wrap it around there or tuck it in there and put your pump in the front of your bra or the side of your bra. Um, for other people, they may have other ways of, of sort of dealing with this, but to be perfectly honest, I'm quite lazy when it comes to, I can't really be bothered to like feed up the tubing, loop it around, put it in my bra and everything like that. I'm always 100% gonna go to the easiest way to store and access my pump, unless it's a special occasion and I really wanna take care of where I'm putting it. But all in all, I find this site so accessible and really, for the most part, considering the tubing exposure, I haven't ripped out a lot of these sites. So all in all, for me, it just works a treat and I really, really like it. So that's my third and final. And with that being said, please, please, please let me know down below what are your favorite infusion set sites. Do you think I've missed something out here? Do you think I haven't covered something that's like, oh my gosh, somebody's absolute go-to? Please let me know. I'm always so interested because it just is such a personal choice as with everything with diabetes. I hope you found this useful and interesting. Maybe you're on a pump and looking to rotate your sites a bit more. Maybe you're interested in maybe starting a pump, but are unsure of the logistics of wearing a pump and how that all works. So just hope this was informative and enjoyable to you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you are all very well and healthy and safe wherever you are in this world. 
I wish you great blood sugars, straight CGM lines, and great infusion set placements and easy infusion set placements. But most of all, and most, most, most importantly, I wish you a happy, healthy mind with it all. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time.